A record number of new coronavirus cases in North Carolina today. This comes as the total case count in the state surpasses 300,000. Today, there were more than 3,100 new cases, beating the previous record by more than 200. The percent positive also took a jump to 7.9%, and hospitalizations remain high with more than 1,200 people seeking treatment. That's the highest number since July. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley joins us live. Colleen, you spoke with someone on the front line fighting the virus and they've got concerns. Yeah, Angela, the doctor I spoke with said the rising number of cases shows we are not out of the woods with COVID-19 yet, uh, despite promising news about a vaccine and despite people just having COVID fatigue, he says we cannot let our guard down. COVID-19 tightened its grip on North Carolina this week. We're entering, I think, a very dangerous and potentially uncertain time. The state's health department says 3,119 COVID-19 cases were reported in one day, the single highest day number to date. Hospitalizations also increased and the percent positive rate for testing climbed to nearly 8%. People are getting a little tired of wearing a mask all the time um, and they're letting their guard down and this virus hasn't gone away. Dr. Dennis Taylor says he's seen an uptick of COVID-19 patients coming into his emergency department. And while current hospitalizations are stable, he's concerned what will happen once flu season is in full swing. It's really not only a bed issue, it's a staffing issue. Uh, in North Carolina, we do have a shortage of nursing staff. Dr. Taylor says cases are popping up as friends and families hold parties and get-togethers, so he supports Governor Cooper's decision to clamp down on the number of people allowed for indoor gatherings. As frustrating and painful as it is, we must keep fighting a little while longer. We don't want to let the last eight months of sacrifices go to the waste by dropping our guard or ignoring safety measures during family gatherings. Despite promising news of a vaccine, Dr. Taylor and health officials say we still have to remain vigilant. Yeah, Dr. Taylor really encouraging people to rethink those Thanksgiving plans if you plan to be crowded around that dining room table. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to tell you about the growing evidence that shows this virus can spread from person to person, even without close contact. But for now, reporting live in Raleigh, Pauline Quigley, CBS 17 News.